Hey, hey, good morning, everyone. It's finally the weekend, and we're expecting some slightly milder weather to settle in through the area, but we're still dealing with a snowpack across most of the heartland this morning. Starting off with sunny skies, a little patchy fog, but nothing too problematic. Keep in mind, if you're traveling in western Kentucky and Tennessee today, you'll probably run into some minor issues with some slick spots. Temps starting out this morning, bitterly cold for this time of year in Cape Girardeau. It is 17 here in town, but just up the road in Farmington, it is 32. So about the spread of 14 or 15 degrees there, just about a 50 to 100 miles. 21 Union City, 26 in Paducah. When you factor in a south breeze that will be hanging out with us throughout the weekend, the wind chill down to 8 in Cape, 15 in Carbondale, and 14 in Union City. You can really tell where that snowpack is. It affects your overnight low temperatures, and it also affects your high temperatures. We are dry right now, though. First alert Doppler network, not tracking any kind of wintry precip. There's a little cloud cover streaming in through I-70, I-64, and the I-44 area. That's going to continue drifting east-southeast with a disturbance over the Great Lakes area. We're not going to see much impact from that system. In fact, we've got a high pressure off to our south. It's going to be hanging out over Arkansas and Mississippi throughout the course of the weekend, giving us those southerly breezes. Let's go throughout the next few hours. I'm going to actually rewind it to about noon. Lots of sunshine, temperatures reaching the 40-degree mark for areas with a snowpack, possibly low 50s for areas with dry ground. For this evening, slowly increasing clouds and even a chance of fog for our northernmost counties in southern Illinois. Let's get you out the door for the next six hours. Lots of sunshine for the next few hours. Looks like lunchtime going to be not too bad for areas without the snowpack, but for Cape, 37 degrees by lunchtime. With some milder weather arriving for next week. You won't want to miss the details coming up at Heartland News at 6. We'll see you then.